in my office, I have a, a banner that hangs that expresses our school mantra here at Whitefish High School that is high expectations, high achievement for all. Something that we believe in that's the foundation of all that we do. Uh, we love to see the growth in all of our programs. You know, with, with that uh, excitement and the growth, you know, comes a lot of challenges. It's been fun because of the response. It's been huge. Uh, there's 300 and some odd 80 kids that are trying to take it next semester, next year, and 190 can do it. We're seeing growth in student population, but we're also seeing growth in academics throughout our district. We're seeing growth on, on the playing field and, the, and through the arts. And it's, it's really an exciting time for us. We want our athletes close to home uh, competing on their, our school grounds. We want to ensure that we do this right and we have enough room to grow for the next 20 years. The need for the expansion comes from in a few areas, primarily from student growth. The job force is screaming for help and, and there are lots of great paying jobs out there and, and our kids are interested in those programs and we just don't have enough to offer in terms of facilities and staffing to expand those programs currently. Academics are why we're here, right? But there is another piece that I think maybe sometimes goes a little bit unnoticed. I feel that activities truly is the other half of education. You know, it's that extension of the classroom. Uh, there's a lot of learning goes on there, a lot of life skills that are being, um, you know, taught and learned, and you know, resilience and how to overcome adversity. The biggest challenges we face right now are, are with our facilities or lack thereof, uh, especially you know, close to our, our campus. Given that 85% of our kids participate in activities, I can fully say that that is a significant part of what we do at the high school level. So overall, we are looking at a 20-year plan. In 2021, we came together and we identified in our long-range facility plan that the high school was the top priority. Our methodology here at the high school is to provide diverse experiences for students. And in that, we have to have a, a enough staffing and enough space to accommodate that. We need more space to be able to do what we're doing. With more space in here, I can have everyone actively working all at once. That's really the goal. Everyone working in teams together. So whether we're talking about culinary arts, welding, woods, the building trades, agriculture, whole variety of the career technical ed courses really bring in a lot of skill sets for students. I try to get them to look at math and look at English and look at their jobs after high school and in the future the same way. Solve a puzzle, read your recipe, start to finish, figure out what you're doing, make sense of it, and in teams make that happen. It would be great to get all of our um, athletes back here to the campus. This expansion project allows us to expand 24 classrooms are labs and shops and other learning spaces but are, that are connected to this building so that we can all be under one roof. We want a facility that does stand up to the best practices of safety and security. The expansion committee came together and worked for over six months looking at information about the expansion concepts and through that process we identified athletics as well as academic areas and we also then got input from the community and they responded with that same thing. There's no doubt that Whitefish High School has great pride in their programs, their kids, their community. High expectations, high achievement for all means all. It means the students, it means the staff, it means the administrators, it really means our parent community and our community at large.